Okay, we are back with another commentary episode. And what better place to bring back the commentary series than at the greatest riding spot on earth. Would you just look at how gorgeous this place is? We're amped up, we're excited, we're fist pumping, because we get to ride here today. We're surrounded by massive hill climbs, beach and sand for miles. We got the ocean over there on the right. Not really too sure if it's the ocean. It's a body of water, but we're going to call it the ocean anyway. We just know we're in for a great day of riding. Before we start this video, I just got to give a little brief uh, announcement. I am sorry for the sound quality of this video. I ended up using the wrong, I don't know, I may have used the wrong GoPro housing. All I know is it was super windy out today and you can hear it in the audio. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to either take the audio out, lower it, or I don't know. Hopefully it'll be fixed by the time this video is out. I don't even know what you're doing. What do you think? It's so like, it's just so sandy and like, there's just so much to do, but I don't even know what to do. So me and Connor have been to this spot before, but Matt has never been here, so this was his first time. And I'm not going to lie, it is an overwhelming location. Even for me, who's been here before, it really is so overwhelming. When you get there, it's just miles and miles of sand. And we're just like, we don't even know what to do with all this sand. It is just endless possibilities, and we're going to be taking full advantage of it today. So the first stop on today's adventure is we're going to be heading west out into the trails. Actually, I don't know if this is west, north, east, west, I don't even know, but we're heading in that direction. Last time Connor and I were here, we found some pretty cool spots down this way. Uh, back at the start of the video, that's what we call the main pit, where there's pretty much just a giant sand pit with massive hill climbs. But we're going to be heading away from the hill climbs and try to find some trails. Uh, there were a lot of good whoop sections. Even when Connor and I were last here, we found a little motocross track. Seemed to be there was some sort of coaching session going on because there was a bunch of riders, a coach, and it looked like a really cool track that we wanted to ride. So we're going to see if we can find that. Would you just look at where we're riding right now? We got a lake to our right, long sandy road right in front of us, trails and woods off to our left. This place is unreal. Whoa, Matt, heads up, almost went down there. Gotta keep it on two wheels, but I stopped and now I'm stuck too. I had to hit the brakes to slow down so I didn't hit him. And the sand is so deep, when I got back on the throttle, my back wheel was just spinning and I was digging a hole. Let me tell you, if you haven't ridden in deep sand before, it is not easy. I'm pretty sure this is the area where the old motocross track used to be, but it seemed to have just disappeared and it's no longer there. It's alright though, because we found something even better, this giant hill climb that Connor's convinced he can make it up. Me and Matt look at each other like there's no way he's making it up this hill. But he was determined to make it up and I figured as long as I had the GoPro running and I could film him doing something stupid, then, you know, I'm being a good friend. But the main issue with this hill climb is not that it's really tall, it's more of just that it's really steep and really rutted out, and we have no idea what's on the other side, which is what Connor's going to check out now. Not really too sure what he found, but he decided to go for it, so let's see how this goes. I didn't think he'd make it up. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, I had no confidence in him that he was going to make it up the hill, but... Somehow he managed to pull it off. Of course, if we're out here riding in the sand, we're going to be hitting some sand whoops. And man, riding these get tiring fast. Alright, let's get out of this sand. Let's see where this trail leads to. Alright, this place looks pretty cool. This isn't sand. This is really hard packed dirt. This, this is a really nice straightaway. We definitely have some fun here. See, Connor's popping a wheelie. I'm shifting the bike into fifth. Matt's shifting the bike into fifth. We gotta be full throttle wide open down this section. As you can probably notice, we're not going that fast, but the reasoning for that is because, you know, we didn't want to show off. 
we were just warming up still pretty early in the day the bikes were a little bit tired so they didn't really want to hit their full capabilities but we're gonna head out to the trails do some trail riding and then come back and really push these bikes to their limits on this straightaway I don't know what to do I don't know what to do like an hour into the day even though right now in the video it's just five minutes but we were riding probably for an hour and we're still just blown away on the vast area of riding opportunity here and like I said we went from big sand pit giant hill climbs to a long straight flat runway that yeah that's actually what I'm gonna call that place that's a good name for that straightaway section the runway because it's like you're on an airplane runway anyway now we're out into the woods it's got some nice sandy trails and we're just going to see where they go. Alright, here we go. Now we're into the sand whoops. This is where, this is my thing. Riding sand whoops. Connor, he likes to do the hill climbs. Matt likes to goon ride. I like to ride whoops. Now this is just so cool. I'm over here on the left, Matt's on the right. We're just side by side blasting these whoops. Oh, this is a good day. All right, these whoops are getting a little bit bigger and they're not ending. We are still in the whoops. This is the longest whoop section I have ever ridden. And to make it worse, it's in the sand and riding sand whoops are even more tiring. Anytime these sections gonna end, we're still riding the whoops. Oh, all right, I need to take a break. I am out of breath. I'm exhausted. I'm out of breath. That was awesome. Now those are some whoops. There's a single track right there. Like I was looking like all along the way are just like little pits and little trails and little pits. Dude, that was the longest whoop section. It's not even over. I know. <laughs> I told you, dude. This place is huge. I kept like poking in and looking. Just had to take a little bit of a rest, a little breather, but now I'm good to go. Matt and Connor, they head on their way, but I wanted to get a little better of a run up to the whoops because I wanted to hit them just as fast as I hit them before, even though I had to stop mid whoops. It's, it's okay, we're gonna gain our speed back and we're gonna keep going. I don't know what it is about riding whoops, but it is just my favorite thing to do on a motorcycle. There's just something about being completely pinned, leaning all the way back on the bike, and just trying to control it as it's trying to go every which way, and ah, oh, it is so much fun. I think it's because I love watching the Supercross riders just blitz the whoops as fast as they can. I, I was just always so fascinated by it, and I just kind of learned from watching them to kind of just the technique. I don't know if it's right, but I just, like I said, I lean back and I pin it and kind of hope for the best, and it is so thrilling. Alright, so Connor said he saw some power lines uh, down that way, so we're going to go check those out. Oh, here's a little slow-mo. Big roost shot. Alright, let's do a little bit more exploring for the day. You know, we, we just keep going. We're not going to stop until we get lost. That is the goal. You don't stop riding, you don't stop exploring trails until you're completely lost. And all I know is 
it's a good thing that Matt and Connor have a good sense of direction because I'll be honest, I don't. I have no idea where we are at any point during this day. I just follow them and hopefully they know how to get back. So that's my plan. I don't know what their plan is, but I, hopefully it's better than mine. All right, here's a nice little trail. Let's see where this leads to. This isn't as whooped out as uh, the trails normally are, so this is a nice change of pace. You could relax a little bit more and not be so, you know, holding on to the bike for dear life. All right, just got to come around this corner. And, oh, Matt almost went down there. Actually, wait, what? almost went down. He did go down. What am I saying? He dumps it. First good there we go. Let's let's watch this instant replay. All right. So it looks like I don't know what happened. He just dropped the bike, and Matt usually doesn't drop the bike. So that was that was a rare event, and that was the first fall of the day too. Matt got the first fall of the day. So I think this is a perfect place to end the video. Thank you for watching, but don't you worry. This isn't even close to the end of this day. Go check out part two when this is uh, when I get it uploaded. I'll put the link in the description. But we're going to be doing a lot of cool stuff. It's a little bit less trail riding, a lot more. Not going to spoil it for you guys. You'll see. All right. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for part two.